Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL T7 which is finding the volume of spheres. So I uh, have my volume equation here that I just quickly googled. I just googled volume equations and right here we have our volume of a sphere. Volume is 4 over 3 times pi r cubed. Okay, And so this IXL just looks like a series of spheres we are going to be finding the volume of. So we're just going to use our formula. I'll grab this problem here. And so volume again is going to be 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Okay. And what I like to say is, remember area uh, of a circle is going to be pi r squared. And that's two dimensions. Area is two dimensions. Volume is three dimensions. It's uh, 3D shapes. And so we're just adding one more dimension to this. So instead of r squared, we have r cubed. And then we have to tack on a 4 over 3 because of the ratio. So uh, kind of a way to remember it. And so we have volume equals 4 over 3. They say use 3.14 for pi, so we'll do 3.14. And then r cubed. r is just the radius, and it looks like the radius is 8. So times 8 cubed. And I'm just going to plug this all into a formula, or to a, a calculator. So I'm going to clear this and go... Uh, 8 times 8 times 8 times 3.14 times 4 divided by 3. Okay, and that's just everything I wrote down here, right? Okay, and uh, equals, and that's going to be this number right here. I'm just going to highlight that, copy it, bring it back, and type it in. Remember, it says 100th place, so two places after the decimal, that's going to be correct. Okay, just as easy as that. This is the same problem except it has a radius of 10, so I'm going to skip it. Same problem, but a radius of 5, skip it. Same problem, but a radius of 31, skip it. Okay, so you get all the way up to 83, and to give you the same type of problem but without a picture, totally fine. Okay, so uh, it says a sphere has a radius of 5 centimeters. What is the volume? So volume, again, is 4 over 3 pi r cubed, r cubed, okay. Um, and so we have 4 over 3 times 3.14 times our radius. What is our radius? 5, so 5 cubed, so 5 times 5 times 5. So I'm going to go back to the calculator calculator and do uh, 5 times 5 times 5 times 3.14 times the 4 over 3 so times 4 and then divided by 3 and that is going to be 523.33 so I'm going to grab that and put it in and there we have it okay so I'm going to skip and see if there's anything different And it's pretty much the same thing. This one says diameter, so I'll just do this one real quick, just so uh, I can make a distinction. Remember, the diameter is going to be double the radius. So our volume equation, again, is 4 over 3 uh, pi r cubed. So we have 4 over 3 times 3.14 times our radius. So the diameter, again, is going to be 8, and the diameter is the length all of the way through the circle going through the center so it's saying that entire thing is eight the radius is just half so what is half of eight that's four so we're going to go four cubed like this so now we're going to go back and plug that into our calculator so we'll go four times four times four four cubed times three point one four times four over three four divided by three and that is going to be, oh, nope, go back. That is going to be 267.95. So I'm going to change that into a 5 when I bring it over here because it's rounding. And 5. And there we go. Okay, so that's where I'm going to end the video. Uh, just use the formula, plug it in, and you're going to get your answer soon enough. Okay, stay safe, study hard, and I will catch you for the next IXL tutorial later on. Goodbye.